Hi, this is Mike Dishman from Stateless Code, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why I leave the mistakes in my code. So I do my style of code casting pretty much in one take. If I have a syntax error, if I have a failing test, if I create a bug, it stays in there. It doesn't get edited out. Am I being lazy by doing that? No. You see, I'm not Mozart. Mo I can't write the symphony perfectly in the first draft, and you probably can't either. If you are Mo the Mozart of coding, everything you do never has a syntax error, never has a bug, then, I mean, hit stop now uh, and go write your masterpiece. But for the rest of us, we make mistakes when, we, uh, w when you're coding. You write stuff that um, might have a you, you intend for it to go one way, it doesn't do that. And so um, you've got to try to troubleshoot. And I leave all that stuff in so that uh, hopefully you can learn from the mistake that I made, made and learn kind of my, my patterns and methods for troubleshooting my code. And then also maybe you won't make the mistake when you see yourself in a similar situation. Oh, well, I've got to um, place a dot there, or no, you um, don't put a query in a loop, and th things like that. Mistakes that you make, uh, and and how to how to troubleshoot them. Why is my uh, I've got the wrong option keys when I'm writing a method that takes options. I leave those mistakes in so that everybody who's following along, coding along, can learn. The patterns and the the systems that you might use to try to trouble through troubleshoot through something and solve a problem. You go into the the console and try it out. You uh, re rework your test. You back something out to get back to your your last stable working version, and then um, try try to replay what you were doing to change things um, and, and try to figure out what broke there. If I, if I were to edit that out, I would be doing you a disservice as the, as the viewer that um, you, you don't learn as much from the perfect polished edited out versions of these. Sometimes you learn by watching somebody, oh, I left out the, I used the wrong key and now I'm getting a, you can't coerce nil to a decimal value sort of thing. And by watching somebody else who's experienced work through and solve that problem, it will help you get better and ha add tools to your toolbox that you can use as you're coding on your own projects. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.